Hey guys, Miss Nicole here, and today we are going to read the story, Froggy Goes to Camp. It was summer. Froggy woke up and jumped on his bed. Boing, boing, boing. He was so excited, he bumped his head on the ceiling. Bonk! And fell down. Froggy! Called his father. What? Up and at him. Today's the day you go to camp. Run amok. Froggy hopped out of bed, got dress, dressed, zap, zip, zoop, zip, 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 and flopped into the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. Have you got everything? asked his mother. Of course, said Froggy. Let's go, said Dad. And off they went. Oh no, cried Froggy an hour later. I forgot my sleeping bag. Oh, Froggy, groaned Dad, and turned the car around. Two hours later, oh no, cried Froggy. I forgot my bathing suit. Oh, Froggy, groaned Dad, and turned the car around. By the time they got to Camp Run Amuck, it was sunset. I don't know anybody here, cried Froggy. I want to go home. Come meet your bunkmates, dear, Mom said. Welcome to Camp Runamuck, said Jordan, his counselor, and led them to Froggy's cabin. It was named Wildcats, but his bunkmates were the two toad twins and an otter named Yasha. Yasha was nice. He let Froggy have the top bunk. Look, said Mom, there's your principal, Mr. Mugwort. He's the camp director. Great, said Froggy. Not. By the time his parents waved goodbye, the moon was rising over Lake Winnemucca. At sunrise, a bugle blasted. Da, 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 da. Last one up, said Yasha, gets tickled by a feather duster. Froggy was the last one up. Hee hee ha ha ho ho ho. Welcome campers, announced Mr. Mugwort. Now listen up. Today is their swim test. Tomorrow, swimmers will race to the raft on the lake at the crack of dawn. But now it was time for breakfast. Froggy had KP duty, kitchen patrol, washing ditch dishes, preparing veggies and flies, and serving. When he served Mr. Mugwort, two fried eggs slid off right on Mr. Mugwort's head. Splat! Oops, said Froggy. Froggy passed the swim test, of course. Later, he had archery. He pulled the bow, aimed, let go, twang, and hit Mr. Mugwort's bottom. Thwop. Oops, said Froggy. On Tuesday... The bugle blasted, da da ta da da ta and Froggy flopped down to the lake, flop, 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 ready to race. Froggy, called Mr. Mugwort. What? You forgot your bathing suit. Froggy looked down. Oops. He was wearing his boxers. Everyone laughed, even Mr. Mugwort. On Wednesday, they went on a big hike around Lake Winnemucca. It got so hot that Froggy said, let's jump in the lake with all our clothes on. Jordan, the counselor, did a swan dive. Yasha did a jackknife. And Froggy did a cannonball. Splash! And Mr. Mugwort got all wet. On Thursday in the dining hall, the Toad Twins yelled, food fight, food fight! And everyone joined in. Froggy threw a banana and Yasha ducked and it smeared across Mr. Mugwort's shirt. Smoosh. Mr. Mugwort was not a happy camper. On Friday, Mr. Mugwort asked, who knows how to paddle a kayak? He was also the kayak instructor. I do, I do, cried Froggy. Are you sure? Yep. Froggy put on his life jacket and sat in the front. Mr. Mugwort pushed off and climbed in.
Uh-oh. Froggy held the kayak paddle with a like a canoe paddle and dug in. Yikes! And over they went. Splash! Oops, spluttered Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Mr. Mugwort glared at him, then laughed and hollered. Water fight! Water fight! He handed out squirt guns, and they had the wildest water fight in Camp run -amuck history. Splish, sploosh, sploosh. In the last night, they stargazed, told scary stories around a bonfire, and sang camp songs like, Dear Mama Duck, Dear Papa Duck, It's fun here at Camp run -amuck. When Frog Froggy's family, family came in the morning, Mom said, How was camp, Froggy? Great! I hit Mr. Mugwort with an arrow, smooshed him with a banana, and capsized her kayak. Hmm, that's nice, dear. And Froggy sang, Dear Mama Duck, Dear Papa Duck, It's fun here at Camp Runamuck, all the way home. The end. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.